You just bought a house in San Francisco that needs work. Maybe a fixer up or maybe just cosmetically. What do you do next? Watch this video here. Okay, before we start, I got three things for you. One, smash the like button. Two, smash the subscribe button. And three, if you're looking for real estate here in San Francisco or the Bay Area, give me a call or DM me below. I'm a realtor and would be happy to help you. All right, now on to the video. I get this question all the time. I just bought a fixer upper or something that needs cosmetic work here in San Francisco. Now what? What type of style am I thinking about? What am I doing? Let's take a look here. I'm going to show you a house. This is brand new construction and it's the same type of thing that you do in a fixer upper uh, or a renovation. Same type of thing. So these are the things we're going to look for. This house here is a two million dollar house in San Francisco and you'll see the types of finishes and types of things that you want to bring to the space because that's going to create value in the property uh, that you've bought or are contemplating buying and that's going to help you when you go to sell um, and so i always recommend everyone uh, you know think about selling too because that's very important so um, even when you buy, when you buy, you're thinking of selling, uh, because at the end, you never know what's going to happen. You have to move or something like that. So you want to, you know, always have that advantage to you. All right. We're going to take a look at this house. I'm going to point some things out and that way you have a rough idea of, you know, what I think you should do in that flip. Okay, so the first thing <clears throat> uh, that I like is this European wood uh, floors. Uh, you know, really beautiful. It's warm and inviting. For a while there, uh, a lot of developers were using grays and blacks. Um, another thing here is, so you can see the cabinets here you know nice quality and then you can see this is a fridge yeah. so Miele uh, and I like how it all matches you see and then this is important you know you've got a six burner stove quality Miele microwave a lot of the time now we're putting them down lower and then you've got this beautiful hood here you can see the these are quartz quartz countertops again i like quartz wears a little bit better than um than marble does and you can see the uh, handles here and the soft touch which I like uh, uh, this hardware here is nice I also like the gold I prefer it gold but these are very very nice too another thing with the modern you know they have nice high ceilings but another thing that anyone can do is doing canned light uh, the canned light is really nice and of course here you've got um, you know nice light fixtures and things like that uh, so very very important if you have room you can add the wine fridge which i always think is a winner <clears throat> you can see how beautiful this house is uh, here so let's uh we'll take a look upstairs This is uh, the first bedroom. And we'll take a look at the bathroom here. Uh, you know, nice uh, drawers, vessel sink, nice big rain shower head, 
you can see nice big bathtub with jets really nicely done so let's take a look we'll now go over here to the master bedroom a nice big closet you know if you can and if you do have the room i recommend doing a walk-in closet nice big walk-in um, just some of the modern touches i like this thing you know room for towels and stuff and again you can see here so beautifully done really nicely done Here's something else that I think is very important. You can see how uh, the space is very open and this is how we like to live these days. So if you're renovating an older home, a lot of the time you've got uh, walls uh, separating the rooms. And so if you can, I always recommend uh, that you break down the walls in between and try and open it up as much as possible. You can see how this this whole room flows and you know now the the cook is not sequestered to the kitchen any longer um, and again you've got these gorgeous floors so it really warms up the other thing too is I like the white walls um, it, you know really freshens things up and so that's something nice to do I love and we see this in uh, kitchens these days is the island the island is, and you can see how they staged with a couple stools on one side. Um, uh, so that, the island is really cool. And whenever we're looking at a property to, to flip or renovate, I always try and find a place for the island because it's, I don't know, the kitchen is, is the heart of the house. And, and so you wanna make the kitchen very special like they did here, beautiful kitchen. And here we at the uh, lower level. You can see here, this garage space. So one car garage. And then you walk into this third bedroom is nice nice big closet cute little sitting room out there and then let's take a look at the bathroom here vessel sink they did a nice job I like the floors too so that's it for downstairs. So these are a few tips. I've been showing you uh, properties that, that need renovating, uh, fixer uppers, things that need cosmetic uh, work done to them. Today, I just wanted to walk through this to give you some ideas of, of the types of things that you would do to that property. And so when you go in and you're building up an estimate for the cost, uh, uh, for of renovation. Keep these things in mind uh, that I kind of walked through today, especially if you bought something like this in San Francisco. Uh, most buyers these days um, want something move-in ready. And move-in ready and also to the style because most of the things that you see flipped here in San Francisco uh, flipped or renovated or you know that's gonna have this type of style and so I'll I'll go through more uh, and actually I you know if you look back a couple of videos uh, ago I did one of some of the more expensive condos here in San Francisco and you can see the style that we're going for so this is David Polson. Hey, do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe. 
Uh, and if you are looking for a property here in San Francisco, hey, reach out to me, DM me. Uh, you can call me, email, whatever. I'd be happy to help you here. All right, thank you.